so let's start with the next topic and uh, the next topic is isometric projections now before this uh, we already have understood what is orthographic projections right so basically uh, you are familiar with this word projections so whenever we say that we are uh, discussing projections that means we are discussing some views of some object right so let's see what is the definition of isometric projection now the definition is it is a method of drawing pictorial view of an object showing all three faces of the object simultaneously so basically you are going to now represent the given object uh, in 3d when if you recall the orthographic projection we were only drawing uh, 2d views of the given object and they were front view side view and top view whereas here we are going to draw a view which will show uh, length height and width of the object at the same time so we can say that we are going to show some 3d view now uh, if we understand further basically the isometric projection is a type of parallel projection now parallel projection means uh, it is a type of projection where the projection lines remains parallel to each other so that is what is parallel projection so isometric is a type of parallel projection and it is a type of axonometric projection okay so let's now understand what is the meaning of axonometric projection so if we look at this figure here uh, understand that this is the plane of projection that means this is the plane on which we are projecting the points right and this is the object over here now the meaning of axonometric projection is all these projection lines are parallel to each other and the second thing is we are observing the object from infinite distance right so you can see here the first point is observer is at infinity so if we are the observer and we are looking at the projection plane from this direction so we are uh, we are assuming that we are at infinity and the second thing is the projectors are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the projection plane so in this figure you can see that these are the projectors and they are parallel to each other and they remain perpendicular to the projection plane and the third point is the object is inclined with respect to the projection plane it's not that uh, any of the edge or face of the object remains parallel to the projection plane which was the case in orthographic projection right here it is different no edge or no plane is parallel to the projection plane the object is actually inclined to the projection plane so this is the definition of axonometric projections so uh, as we have understood now what is axonometric projection uh, let's see what are the different types of axonometric projections so there are basically three types of axonometric projection first one is isometric projection now in uh, it is a type of projection where we will draw a pictorial view in such a way that these three edges this three edges will have same length as well as the angles between these edges which are represented over here as a b and c will be equal so now if we give notations to these edges as o x o y and o z we can say that isometric projection is a type of projection where ox is equal to oy is equal to oz also angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c next type of the axonometric projection is diametric projection 
So in case of diametric projection, out of these three edges, two will be equal and one will have some different length. So uh, you can consider uh, these three as uh, views of uh, a same cube, right? So you can see that when I draw isometric projection, it appears different and when I draw diametric projection, it appears different. So here we can write that OY is equal to OZ which is not equal to OX now. Also we have to see that out of these three angles any two will be equal and the third will be different. So here we can write angle A equal to angle C and angle B is different. So then it is diametric projection. And the third one is trimetric projection where none of the edges are equal. That means OX is not equal to OY is not equal to OZ and also angle A is not equal to angle B and is not equal to angle C. So that is known as trimetric projection. But uh, basically our focus is now on this one and that is isometric projection. So let's summarize what isometric projection is and let's see some of the terminology of it. So isometric projections are the projection where we have OX is equal to OY is equal to OZ and alpha sorry uh, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. So now if I consider that I have a cube with me and I want to draw the isometric projection of it, I have to keep it inclined in such a way that I see length of this is equal to length of this and a length of this. Also this angle is equal to this angle and it is equal to this angle. So if I draw such representation of a cube, let's take this is the representation. So in that case OX is equal to OY is equal to OZ and A is equal to B is equal to C. So basically what uh, here we are uh, observing is we are observing equally shortened edges. Now why I have written equally shortened edges because to see the isometric projection of this I have to keep it inclined like this and now we, you know that when we make this solid inclined to our eyesight we cannot see the true length of this length right and here this is also inclined this is also inclined and this is also inclined to your eyesight. So you cannot see true length of any of this. So that means these are reduced length. Okay. So if I put it in front of you like this, this is the actual length. But as soon as I make it equal and then if I draw the view of it, you will see that this is reduced length. So isometric projection is such projection where all these three edges are equally shortened. Right. Okay. Now let's see there are some terminologies uh, related to isometric projection. So let's see what are they. So first one is isometric axis. So here if we are, if we are re representing a, a isometric projection of a cube like this, then we will say that this OX, OY and OZ are isometric axis. Right. So that is the first term. Second terminology is isometric lines. So that is any line which is parallel to the isometric axis is termed as isometric line. So this line is parallel to OX so that is isometric line. This line is parallel to OZ so that is also isometric line. Similarly this line is parallel to OZ, OY so that is also isometric line. So that is the definition of isometric lines. Then the next term is non isometric lines. So if we have here in this representation we do not have any such line but in we will see that type of problem where some lines will be non parallel to isometric axis. 
So if we have any such edges, then we will call them as non-isometric line. And then the next one is isometric planes. So here in this representation, these planes which are parallel to any one of the isometric axis or we can say passing through that isometric axis that will be termed as isometric planes. So here this plane is an isometric plane. This term, this plane is also an isometric plane and this plane is also an isometric plane. So, as we have understood that there is some reduction in the length of the lines, let us understand what is that reduction and how we can find it. So, for that we can use this scale which is known as isometric scale, right. So, to understand that let us go back to this figure and here let us understand that if we want to draw isometric projection we have to keep these three angles same. So, if you if you look at this representation and if you want to make this a, b and c equal to each other what should be the value? So, the value should be 120 degree. So, then and then this 3 may be equal to each other, right? You can easily understand that we are dividing the circle, this 360 degree, this circle into 3 parts, right? So, we are dividing this 360 degree into 3 parts, then and then this 3 angle can be same. So, this is 120 degree, this is also 120 degree and this also should be 120 degree, right? So now remember that whenever we draw isometric projections, we have to draw isometric axis at angle of 120 degree, okay? So basically if we see what we are doing is we are drawing this line at 30 degree to the horizontal, right? So, this angle also must be 30 degree. Understand that if, if I draw a line passing through this point, this whole angle is 180, right? Out of which this is 120, okay? So, this and this both are same. So, both must be 30 degree. So, that is why now if, if now we will see that when whenever we will draw, the pictorial view using isometric projections. We will draw the isometric axis at 30 degree angle to the horizontal because we want that the angle between them should be 120 degree. So that is why we will draw it at 30 degree to the horizontal line. Here also you can see that this line must be th at 30 degree to the horizontal and this line also must be at 30 degree to the horizontal because this angle is also 120 degree, isn't it? So here you can see that if I draw a horizontal line through this point, this angle must be 30 degree. If I draw a horizontal line through this point, this angle must be 30 degree. If I draw a horizontal line through this point, this must be 30 degree. Horizontal line through this point, then this must be 30 degree, okay? So that way we will use these angles to draw the isometric projection. Now, let us go back to the isometric scale, right? So, basically if we want to find that what is the reduction in the length when we draw the pictorial view of the uh, some object. So, for that we need to understand that. See, now suppose this is the square shape for which I want to draw the isometric uh, projection, right? So, let me first draw the square shape as it is with true dimension. Basically, we are drawing the top view of this plane. So, I can represent it like this. Okay. Now, let me draw the isometric projection of it. So, I am basically tilting it like this. Right? So, basically there will be some reduction in this length, okay? 
so let me draw this view first here so it will appear like this isn't it so this will be a line this will be a line and it will appear like this now in isometric projection so what is happening over here if you look at this carefully this initial angle was of 45 degree okay and then as we discussed the isometric line is at 30 degree these two are aligned to each other okay so basically whatever actual length is appearing over here okay that is actual length let's say that is l so that is getting reduced to this length let's say that is small l it is getting reduced to this length so now if we want to find the reduction what we can do is we can draw separately this arrangement where this line is at 45 degree to the horizontal and this line is at 30 degree to the horizontal now if the actual length actual given length let's say here in this case l is 50 mm so what we can do is on this line which is at 45 degree we will put our scale and we will mark the point for 50 mm over here and then we will draw a vertical projection from this vertical line on and that should be projected on the line with angle 30 degree right why we are doing this is because here we understood that the reduction is taking place like that okay so that is why i will project this 50 mm on this 30 degree line and then I will measure this length. Okay. And so let's say if it is A, B, and this is point C. So as understood. Uh, whenever we draw isometric projection the dimension will reduce by a factor of 0 0.815 right but uh, then there are two methods of drawing in isometric projection one is known as isometric projection and second one is known as isometric drawing so if we use the isometric scale that means the reduced dimension to draw the given object then that will be known as isometric projection but now we suppose we just want to show or we just want to represent the object in 3d uh, but we don't want to show the reduction so then there is a way to draw or we can say there is a method to draw the object with the actual dimension using the principle of isometric right so the other method is isometric drawing in which we will draw the object using the actual dimensions we will not reduce it so here you can see in this figure isometric projection the height width and length is reduced by 82 percentage whereas in case of isometric drawing we are using 100 percentage height 100 percentage width and 100 percentage length right so that way we can draw two types of drawings in isometric projection one is isometric projection and one is isometric drawing now onwards we will focus only on isometric drawing as far as this syllabus is concerned